Prime Minister Modi has visited the Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh, and as a reaction, the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin has said that China strongly deplores and firmly opposes the Indian leader's visit to east section of China India India boundary. The United States recognizes Arunachal Pradesh as. Prime Minister Modi has visited the Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh and as a reaction, the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin has said that China strongly de deplores and firmly opposes the Indian leader's visit to east section of China-India India boundary. Um, I want to get your comment on that and secondly, um, China's encroachments uh, in into other lands have, se it seems like, have uh, encroachments uh, happening within the Indo-Pacific as well, particularly in places like Solomon Islands, and, and now we're seeing all over Micronesia. Um, it, it seems like the folks on the ground are demanding for a counter to China's uh, encroachments into uh, their sovereign territories. Can I also get your comment on that as well? So uh, let me take your, your, your first question. The United States recognizes Arunachal Pradesh as Indian territory, and we strongly oppose any unilateral attempts to advance territorial claims by incursions or encroachments, military or civilian, uh, across the line of actual control. And I, th I think I'm going to need you to repeat your second, your follow-up. So, it, it, very simply, Chinese uh, encroachments into the Indo-Pacific um, has been very visible, uh, it, especially in the past few months, and uh, many folks within the Solomon Islands uh, to Fiji, all the way to uh, places within the Micronesia have been demanding for a counter to the, ch the spread of Chinese influence in their area. Um, a lot of them are also wondering uh, what uh, what the U.S.'s position is on this. And sure. So, can I get your comment? Yeah. So, when we when we talk about the Indo-Pacific, you have to uh, uh, remember we're talking about a significant portion of the world's population. We're talking about one of the fastest growing economies. Um, and I can't think of a, a, a more important place where we want to make sure that the uh, rules-based international order, the uh, UN Charter, all of those things are being uh, respected and abided by. And that's um, been one of our tenets of our engagements in the region. The secretary uh, was just there uh, in uh, Seoul for this summit for democracy um, in the Republic of Korea, where he had the opportunity to meet with not just his foreign minister counterparts, but also uh, President Yoon. Um, and over the course of uh, this administration, there's a number of steps that we've taken to bolster our engagement in the Indo-Pacific region. Uh, I remind you that just last year, uh, President Biden hosted the first uh, trilateral summit at Camp David with um, our Japanese counterparts and our ROK counterparts. Uh, we have upped our 
engagement in the Quad. Um, Secretary Blinken has had the opportunity to engage with his ca Quad counterparts uh, a number of times uh, since just when I've been on this job, but even more when you look at since the beginning of this uh, this administration. So it's going to some th something that we're going to continue to emphasize and, and play a focus on.